Okay, here's level 27, the infamous level 27, as it might be known. This is where things start to get weird. Holy shit, indeed. This is one of those transitional sewer levels. Look at those dead guys. What could be happening? Those guys even look scared. Bloody Bone Alley. That's what I would call it, probably. <laughs> or Blood Bone Sewers. Blood Bone Alley. Yeah, this map is very short. The, so this is the transitional area between the the opulence of the castle, which is not s quite so opulent and straight anyway. It's pretty weird and twisty in a lot of places. Anyway, I didn't I didn't do the that very well. <laughs> maybe. My preference is always towards weird and twisty. <laughs> Dogs. Um, what I should have done is made absolutely no guards in the level. Just made you fight dogs. That would have been nice. And then just dead, dead guys. But oh well. Um, so this is the these are the only two keys that you need, and you pretty much beat the level now. But I'm gonna try to find the super secret. Um, but yeah, while I do that, um, this is the, the the transitional one of, you know, seven, 17 and 27. Um, and then 37 is actually the last level. But it's the, the transitional area in between the castle and um, when you get captured, which you're about to get captured. And somebody left a comment on online that said um, on somebody else's playthrough of this mod uh, one of the people who left comments said that that they they tried to kill everybody because like it's a room it's a big room and there are a bunch of guards and like bosses and a couple hitlers and stuff and you're just supposed to walk forward and end the level but if you don't walk forward the guys will just come and try to shoot you and they don't they're not the trigger doesn't block them, so so you could try to kill everyone and then walk forward, you'd still be captured. So <laughs> it's pretty cruel, but oh well. The funny thing is, I I had the idea to do the captured thing and then um, Spear of Destiny Resurrection came out, and then there's also a, a part where you get captured and have to escape from prison. So. Um, I guess it was a, just a coincidence, but here I'm searching for the super secret key to get to the super secret room. It's not actually that hard of a maze, it's just slightly confusing. Maybe less confusing to me, but it's not that confusing compared to some of the things in the original game. But anyway, um, yeah, and then level 28, the next one, is where things start to get weird. The, the fourth key is used um, from then on, the mutants show up. You use the missiles more. Um, there are walk-through walls. Uh, a lot of weird things happen. Especially in level 28 and 29. The walk-through walls are done by having an enemy sort of glitch through the wall. Um, a moving guard will glitch through the wall if you put them right in front of one. So that was a bug that I used to my advantage. Uh, well, and you saw it in that one secret level, which is like a prototype. Okay, here's the secret room, which I'm, I'm trying to figure out the controls so I can show you. But basically, if you find this room, you know, you, you go and find the secret. 
and you come in this room and it's just a bunch of lights and most people would be really frustrated but the lights actually say something and I guess you know if you were stuck in this room for long enough you would look at and try to figure out what they say what they say is uh, Rimmer which is the character from the TV show Red Dwarf um, and that is the command line code to where you can activate the cheap me menu where you can warp so that's the that's how to activate it um, if you're running DOSBox run wolf3d.exe uh, slash rimmer and then hit uh, MLI to activate the the cheat mode and then like tab and plus W or tab plus K uh, tab plus W will warp you to a level and etc so that's the the, the secret cheat mode anyway, here's where you get captured I will see you guys in prison at level 28 so stay tuned